I'm an artist who wants to create urgency in the work. I want to talk with people about a topic, yet I do it via inviting them to, to the theaters. going to be a really exciting project visually, topically, to be able to tell a story that's relevant to our time and make them think, I think is really why art can stay relevant and, and why it's important. What I really love about this team is their working methods are so profound and so cutting edge. Art has this really unique power to bridge those things. We're at a time now more than ever, especially with the issue of climate change, where we really need to be infusing all we do in any of our capacities to be addressing this. It's really important for me to grasp what this nature is. We kind of don't understand the wildness and vastness of it because we separated ourselves from nature. I try to explain what our role is in a natural world through the means of my practice. Most of us know the feeling of entering the sea and being embraced by it. And on one hand, the calm and the cleansing element of it, but also the, the autonomy of the sea in itself. And, and, and this encounter, us feeling that we are just a particle in, in something that's much bigger. That is something that attracted me to the process of La Mer. What I'm creating is an interdisciplinary work of art, which is all centered around these extraordinary dancers from Boston Ballet. But I wanted it to be more. The best way to do that is to do that through extraordinary visuals, through extraordinary dance, through phenomenal, uh, impactful music or video or costumes. For this production, I'm collaborating with Yuima Nagazato. He is a phenomenal designer from Japan. So this is biodegradable. Yeah. So it's completely non-toxic and it just dissolves. It's great to brainstorming together and every single second has some new ideas and discover some new possibilities. I guess what we need to do is, um, is, is do a test with a dancer. Yeah. Create this volume and then put over another mm -hmm. layer. So uh, we need to test but the water go, not going everywhere just for uh, specific points. Yeah. I don't know, melting in the same times. Everything is melting in the same times. It might be difficult. Yeah, but maybe that's beautiful. He is someone who really thinks about uh, sustainability. The fashion industry has a huge impact of, uh, for the environment and also the earth. If, if I think about the future of the industry without thinking sustainability, that's impossible. I think this is amazing to see all these different layers of expertise really elevating everybody's work so much. This is a massive new work and this new work has no shortage of big ideas and so I think there are many elements. There's the world of video projection, very dense amount of uh, special effects, a massive group of dancers, two worlds of music, the recorded music and the world of uh, live acoustic music. So with La Mer, it was request of Nanine, like I want you to write two, three interludes, electronic interludes, 
when I was thinking about the materials, I was interested in the sounds of the sea. So like on just on a sonic level, I wanted to use whale song going through auto-tune because I wanted to make this connection between how humans interpret the idea of sounds of the sea. I was totally excited when, when Nanine contacted me. When she explained the concept, I felt that was really a beautiful collaboration uh, because we, we come from the same thoughts, I think, with what we want to achieve. When you walk into the room, you have the feeling that you are close to something wild and alive, uh, but it's completely made up of digital code. In this world, there is, it, there's no up and down and breaks free from perspective and water flows up and water flows down in the same image. I, I try to grasp this kind of sublime feeling of being in awe of nature, um, but completely digital. I think what is really special about La Mer is that you will see a variety of solos and especially when a dancer is dancing a solo, you can't dance a solo in the work of Nanine without making it personal. For me, witnessing that from the outside and sometimes stepping in and saying, wow, I saw this, I saw that. Was I correct that I saw you explore that movement a little bit differently this time? And then taking it even further the next round say something about the dedication of the dancers of Boston Ballet. There's always been a great interest in how light affects a space, and I'm less interested in the physical light itself. And I think what's beautiful about light is you can't touch it. It's something you have to feel. And so to me, as a lighting designer, we're designers of feelings. And I think it's not something you can quite master, but that's why I continue to fall in love with light. The beauty of La Mer is that it tries to tell a very important story. I think through the means of all this art, we can try to connect the audience on a, a much more deeper level. What would be for me a beautiful compliment is that people open themselves up for something they didn't know yet, or they haven't experienced yet. It's also asking critical questions. Could we do better? How could we cohabit in a more sustainable way with our nature? <laughs>